Most scopes are all numbered pretty much the same, but do you know what those numbers mean? Do you know what three to nine by 40 millimeter means? The first two numbers, three to nine, equate to the magnification. I have three power magnification. I have a variable power scope, so I can turn the power selector ring from three power to nine and everywhere in between, which is great because if I'm shooting in dense, thick woods and I'm only shooting 25 or 50 yards, three power, wide field of view. Don't need to bring that animal in close. Nine power, hey, you know what? I'm shooting 100 yards, 150 yards. I've got a good solid shooting rest. I can make that shot, so I need to bring that target in close. Well, what's the 40 millimeter mean? That equates to the objective lens. 40 millimeter is pretty standard. It gives you good light transmission through the scope. Now you also hear of a 50 millimeter scope, bigger objective lens, which again allows more light to come through the scope. More light means you can shoot later in the evening. But one area that's commonly overlooked in scope selection is how big is the ocular lens of your scope. Ocular lens meaning the lens by your eye. The larger the ocular lens, the more headroom you have when you mount the gun, you can move your head around and place it directly down the bore of your rifle. It's just easier for head placement. So we go make a scope selection. Think about the range of power magnification. Certainly think about your objective lens size, where do you think you're going to be needing that extra five minutes of light. And then also look at the size of the ocular lens. This, this one here is pretty standard, but look at the size of the ocular lens on my rifle scope it's a lot larger, so therefore head placement on my scope is less critical.